measuring wavelength using an interference pattern. In this experiment, we will measure the wavelength of a microwave source using an interference pattern. We will use a microwave transmitter to emit microwaves for measurement, metal plates to create the double slit so as to produce two coherent sources of waves. We will also use a microwave receiver to measure the emitted microwaves. This is connected to an ammeter, which will display a maximum current for constructive interference and a minimum current for destructive interference. Switching on the transmitter, and with the receiver in the central position, we can see the current rise dramatically on the ammeter. Moving the receiver away from the center, we can see the current drop to a minimum and then rise again, denoting areas of constructive and destructive interference. So here it's dropped to a minimum. And there's a maximum again. So we have constructive interference here. And destructive interference here. Where we find an area of constructive interference, we measure the length from the receiver to each gap in the metal slits and can use the difference between these distances, known as the path difference, to calculate the wavelength of the source. So finding that area of constructive interference. And then measuring from the tip of the receiver to each slit. So the furthest away one. Around 39 centimetres, which is the nearest one, about 36 centimetres. So the path difference will be about 3 centimetres. Using the formula for constructive interference, where path difference equals n lambda, we can see with n equals 1, because it is the first maximum from the central maximum that the path difference equals the wavelength. So the wavelength equals three centimeters. We can move it again to the area of the first minimum, and then we can measure the distance from the receiver to the slits again to use the destructive interference formula. So measuring the distance from each slit of about 38 centimetres. We have about 34 centimetres. So the path difference for the destructive interference is around 4 centimetres. Putting this into our formula for destructive interference, where path difference equals n plus a half, all multiplied by lambda, we get lambda to be around 8 over 3. The stated wavelength on the transmitter is around 2.8 centimetres. So with our measurements, we get around that as well.